Hey everyone, Renee from iMore.com and right now we're going to run some benchmarks on the brand new iPad Air 2 and the iPad Mini 3. First we're going to try Geekbench which benchmarks the CPU power of the device. So here we see the results. We have the Apple A8X here, we have the Apple A7 on all three of these. For single core we have 1818 and 4524. Here we have 1469, 2660, 1381, 2493, 1379, 2492. So these are all roughly in the same ballpark. Here we have three cores instead of two. So on the single processors you get a little bit of a boost, but on multi-core you get a significant boost in performance. Here also we have the two gigabytes of RAM, one gigabyte of RAM across the A7 devices. In terms of CPU, the iPad Air 2, much faster. The uh, iPad Mini 3, same as the previous generation. Now we're going to test the graphics processors with GFX Bench. So here we have the GFX Bench uh, results, and this is testing the GPU. So again, these are all the iPad Air 1, the iPad um, Mini 3, and the iPad Mini 2 are all on Apple's A7 processor. And when you do a Manhattan test, for example, which utilizes OpenGL ES3, you're getting results of like 5.1, sorry, 553.1, and 55.8. So these are all roughly identical again. Here we have the A8X, and this we're getting 1526. 24 frames per second, 9 frames per second, uh, 9 frames per second and 9 frames per second and when you watch the video when you watch the test this is just so much smoother and such higher frame rate that it is an obvious difference the a8x is a monster so now we're running the sun spider test for javascript speed so here we have the results the lower number the better because that means it went faster so on the a8x on the ipad air 2 we have 301.9 milliseconds and on the a7 devices including new ipad uh, mini 3 we have uh, 400 418.6 uh, 433.4 and 497.3 so there you have it, the new Apple A8X processor on the iPad Air 2 is an absolute monster. The A7 on the iPad Mini 3 remains a beast, but uh, the A8X is where it's all at. For more, keep it locked to iMore.com.